for the government benefit. So you can't go in there asking for a social security number or trying to change information on your social security information uh, without a valid reason. You have to have a purpose, okay? Pro um, box number six, provide and seven, providing race and ethnicity. Here's where it gets good. Information is voluntary and is requested for informational and statistical purposes only. What kind of purposes? Statistical purposes. Shows an address where you receive seven to 14 days from now. Who can sign the application? You can do it with an X and two witnesses. So let's look at box seven real quick for race and ethnicity. Box seven, you go down here on this form and it says, this is, this is one of their current forms, mind you. I just, I got this very recently. Race, Native Hawaiian, Alaska Native, Asian, American Indian, Black or African American, other Pacific Islander, white. All right? So, but do you know what any of these terms mean? Or do you, have you studied the histories of any of these, these, these people? Um, a lot of people say that the American uh, edu public educational system is a failure. I beg to disagree. You're just not associating or making the connections where they're relative or relevant to your, your, your education or your, your servitude to, or your service towards the public. That's the reason why they're educating you in a public fashion, so that way you can serve their better interests, because they're going to give you the information in a way that benefits them. Duh. Ethnicity and race, and race identification. This is from the U.S. Office of Personal Management Guide to Personnel Data Standards. All right? Privacy Act Statement. Ethnicity and race information is requested under the authority of 42 U.S.C. Section 2000E-16. Let's move on. Use as necessary for plan employment opportunity to locate individuals for personal research or survey response, descriptive statistics, or for related workforce studies. Hmm. A lot of you don't understand, but you file taxes every year, that you, and you don't presume yourself to be a federal employee, but you are because you're filing a federal employee form, 1040, income. You don't, you don't get it how you're a part of the system and you don't even know it. You ain't even know it. Social security numbers requested in the authority of Executive Order 9397, which requires SSN be used for purpose of uniform orderly administration of personnel records. What kind of records? Medical, legal, educational. Other source, other agency sources may be obtained. Let's see. Oh, I skipped an important part. Providing this information is voluntary and failure to do so will have no effect on your employment status. If SSN is not provided, however, other agency sources may be used to obtain it. All right? And please, question two on this form says, please select the racial category or categories with which you most closely identify by placing an X in the appropriate box. Check as many as apply. So they're telling you, if you believe that you're mo more than just one race, which is only one race, which is human, so they're trying to divide you from the race, from the human, um, the families of humanity, by telling you to uh, choose a race, because then you're not human, you're a monster, you don't get that, and how that relates to other legal aspects. But check the one that most appropriately applies. I'm just going to go straight to white, and then I'm going to counteract it with what the opposition of white is. White, by their definition, is a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. Keep in mind, here's basic science. Here's your fourth grade education. All people on the planet came from one place, Africa. Done. What happened to those people that were in Africa when they, when they decided to travel? They migrated. Where they, where they migrated? They migrated to the Middle East. That's the Horn of Africa. All right. What people want to say is the Horn of Africa. They don't want to say that's the true part of Africa because then they don't. Then they can, they can separate what is now considered in modern day times the Middle East, which was previously the Persian Gulf, which was previously, which was Persia, which was now like also modern day Iran. So it's like in a matter of like 15 years, like the, the country completely changed, completely different regime of, of government. All right. And then, so like your your Far East, your Asians. How did they get to the Asia except that they didn't go through the Middle East or go through the, 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 the Arab Peninsula? And so many people want to just say that it's Arab-based, but it's not even that. And then what happens if they're not going east? Some of them are going west. What's west? You got Europe to the west. All people on the planet were first dark-skinned. All right? Now, if we're dealing with origin 
and what comes first. This brings us back to the first one. Color. Purity. If you are first in line and first in time, you are white. Once again, their paperwork says any of the original peoples of Europe, Middle East, or North Africa. If you don't understand or if you haven't been formally educated or informally educated on spiritual doctrine as far as Christianity, Catholicism, Buddhism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Kemeticism, which is like your Egyptology and so on and so forth, all people were saying that they came from some place, some great place in the, in the center of the world, which was part of Africa. And when you have all the continents merged together, you had Pangaea, or what some people would call Pangaea. But it doesn't matter what you want to call it, it was all one landmass at one time. And the biggest landmass that did, it held the most of its structure is the continent you know to be as Africa. And what is Africa? Africa is the original place of all humanity. It's the cradle of all civilization. What happened? Where was where was in, in connection to where America is? Florida, Al Andalus, is the northwestern portion of Africa. For those who just don't want to do your geography homework, fourth grade stuff, all the way to PhD. You see what I'm saying? You see where this goes? I'm just going to read to you for those of you so I can satisfy your curiosity as to what just is black. Here's the definition. Black or African American. Person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. Is there a black Amatania or a black Atoria or a black nation? or a black a black wazi or anything like that on the continent of Africa no so those are all anybody who's claiming to be African American that's also an oxymoron because you can't be in two land masses at the same darn time two nationalities at the same damn time two you don't get it but you, you, that's dual citizenship. You know what I'm saying? That's you, you're, you're, you're doing com continuous travel. But even if you're African, what part of the continent of Africa do you come from? Just like in America, what state or which part of America do you come from? You come from North America, Central America, South America? You see how that whole landmass is connected? It's all America, as it's all Africa. So that's also what brings us to the concept of borders. Borders are a man-made concept. Your divine creator, your divine mother, your divine father created no borders when this creation, when, when, when this, all this was set into motion. And so I'm going to leave you with that. Okay? You're not black. You're not Haitian. You're not Jamaican. You're not uh, South American. You're not Latino. You're not Hispanic. You're indigenous. You're aboriginal to this landmass. And for those of you who think that you came here on a boat, you need to do the mathematics because there's just no way that even in today's technology they could bring that many slaves to this continent continent with that, that kind of technology. I'm talking two ships per trip. One to house the slaves, one to house the supplies which feed them slaves. You need to master yourself, baby. You want to be somebody's little boy or little girl forever. Let's get this knowledge, y'all. Science. Moorish science. We'll get into more aspects of, of what that science is because it's it's historical. Once again, you need sources for that type of information. I say, I su and I suggest to you, you know, YouTube, I see the Duke of Tears, YouTube, Taj Tariq Bay, YouTube. Uh, who else is another great another great study? Dr. Cujo. Canaan Land Moors, yo, y'all doing y'all doing stuff up there, you know what I'm saying? Who else is doing stuff in the continent? Cosmo L on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Some you got you got plenty of good sources, but you got you need to start studying. Yaffa Bay. Yaffa Bay, you know, that's that's a powerful sister right there. Queen Valeva Bay. Queen. Queen Valeva Bay. You get it. Go get this knowledge. You got teachers. And for all of these, you know, other other Schools of thought, you know, like, I just got to say, 
None of you schools of thought would ever exist had it not been for the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Okay? We're going to get into more of the, 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 the national aspects of what he created in 1928, the found, founding of the Moorish Science Temple of America, which was structured for the purposes of uplifting fallen humanity. That's all we got for you. That's all I got for you. Love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, all day, every day, Islam. Peace and love and light.